Hello fellow witches and wizards, my name is Phoenix Jade and welcome to Let's Play True Fear for Second Souls Part 2. Let's get in it let's get into it. We will have a magical time. Now, we last time got a black light, and I think I might know what that's for, but I'm very likely wrong, because I'm usually wrong. The thing is, we got this black light, and like there was a paper on here with like hidden writing and we heard we read like a email way back when um that uh well what what's his name wrote a secret message in um invisible ink oh wait we did that already we did that on the desk didn't we well then what the heck is this for anyway we do have a piece of paper that's right here but we can't even click on it and we can't even interact with it so Maybe we'll come back to that. So apparently we can't use that right now. Okay, so I was wrong, as I suspected. Um, but there is something else we can do. Um, we read in the note that we found in the drawer um, something to do with this safety instructions. So there's a drawing. The symbol seems familiar. Um, drawing administration right. Okay, great, cool, awesome. And that's it. <laughs> that's all I know what to do right now. So, uh, okay. Uh, what do we do now? Um, oh, wait, yes. And of course, I remember from last time that we opened a door. So now we're going to going to go explore through it let's oh my gosh that was really creepy uh yes now we are going to oh metal detector cable explore this place there are dents in the wood as if the same figure was outlined over and over i could probably make the image come out using a crayon and a piece of paper those are things we have okay so let's get the paper and a crayon Grab and move the pencil around to make the hidden image come out. Ooh, yes. One of my favorite kinds of puzzles, activities. I don't know what you want to call it. It's not really a puzzle. It doesn't require much brain power. I want to get every bit. What's it gonna be? Oops. <laughs> this would be easier and faster in real life. looking like a doll. Aw, oh, come on! They always have to ruin my fun. Okay, and now I have a drawing of a doll. It seems that someone drew this doll over and over. Was there something specific they were trying to show? Okay. 
Some look fresh and some are totally dry. The shears should make short work of them regardless. Okay, and the shears. Snip, snip. Shear, shear. Shear, shear. Uh, of course they break. <laughs> uh, dry vines. Uh, do I add my pile to them? I do. The vines are dry, but I still can't set them on fire just yet. Smaller wood or some paper would help. So apparently we're setting this on fire for some reason. Okay. Hey, I don't I don't argue when it comes to fire. <laughs> uh, great, the shears are broken. The remaining vines do seem dry. I wonder if they are dry enough to burn. Let's see. Set it on fire. Okay. Alright. Sure. I can't tear them apart with my bare hands. Maybe there's a more radical way as usual. Okay, so she she needed to do that to get the door open. Okay. Let's look at this creepy ass doll. So this is the same doll. Do but something is different. Find the differences. Yeah, her face is broken. <laughs> uh I guess that line around her mouth doesn't count. Uh, her brooch, her arm, her purse is different. This flower is different. Her shoes, apron. Uh, there's supposed to be a bow in her hair. Uh, which, we saw a bow in one of the fountains. We probably have to retrieve it in order to finish the puzzle. I think that might be... Okay. This definitely could be a small doll, but the bow is missing. Right. Okay. So we will do that. Ooh, we have a spring for this box right here. Move the springs to align them. We did this in the bonus chapter for the last game. might be a little trickier. Oh no, we got it. Ta-da! Yes, we need that. I know exactly what that's for. And a valve, I know what that's for. Emma, I've asked Ethan to print two extra copies of the photo he took. You look fan- you- you looks fantastic. Do you mind if I keep a copy for myself? I think that Jack and Miss Stonehouse are dating. He says it's just professional, but I've seen him button up his shirt and check his breath before meeting her. Ha <laughs> ha. I know that you don't like her. She can be a bit unstable and weird, but I'm still very happy for Jack. I've been watching him sink since his divorce, and this is a welcome change. Alex. A bit creepy, Alex. Yeah, I was thinking that too, actually. So Jack did have a relationship with my mother after all, and he started killing people the day she died. That cannot be a coincidence. Okay, and let's go see what's behind this door. Oh! Ever since I entered this building, I knew that it wasn't just a garden. It was built for a purpose, to host something. And when I saw the statue, I knew that was it. It reminds me of a painting I saw under our old house. There were four of those there. Okay. So it looks like one of the faces is missing. There clearly used to be one more medallion here. There are three medallions and what is missing. I can't get those three out. Well, I would have missed that. Metal detector battery. Oh, perfect. Okay, so we have those things. I bet you there's like a st like a collectible around here somewhere. This looks like the place. No? Really? Let me just take a minute to just kind of look around. guess not. Okay. Okay, well we have stuff for the metal detector. So we'll put this together. Okay, and now we have a metal detector. Maybe we'll use that by the the 
dirt area where we're trying to find something with the lenses. Bags of seeds, the names seem to be in Latin to make it extra nerdy <laughs> or extra difficult. Okay, and we have this thing. So now we can finish the puzzle. Which way does it need to be? I don't know. Because it has to be like this, so that has to be like this, so that has to be like this. It looks like there's only one possible way, and I have to find it. See, this can't go any other way but this way. I'm not sure if this fountain in the lobby works well. I should check it first. Oh, okay. Oh, the valve. Yes, the valve. Have the bow. Pretty bow. A tiny bow. Uh, thanks, no thanks. Okay, and now we know where that goes. Tell me we're getting a shovel. Yes. Yes. Okay. So now, do we use it here? Okay. And now the shovel. Yes. Okay. Is this a casing for something? Our lenses. Perfect. And the last lever! Okay, I don't know what we use the lenses for, but I forget what we use the lenses for. But we have the last lever, which means we could do this puzzle in here. Uh, where? Right? Oh, not yet? I bet I need to find the combination first. Does it have anything to do with over here? Oh, I guess not. Okay, uh, what am I supposed to do with the lenses? Um, uh, 
Uh... <gasps> yes! It said watch the stars. Perfect. Okay. So this is somehow supposed to help me walk through the sky? Yes, I bet that's a door that opens up. Okay, use the levers, find the right arrangement of the stars. Okay. Um, I wonder if I should start with the middle first? Because... Oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so this one puts a certain arrangement on the outside. This one rotates them, and this one moves them to the center. All right, can we start over? <laughs> Let's see if it'll start over. Yep, okay, perfect. Okay, so we wanna start with the center and we have two here and one there, which I think looks like this. Probably okay. Let me start over. Okay. Okay. Now the second part. The next part is one, two, three, four. Okay. So let's rotate this. Where would it be? Where? How would it go? It would. Okay. center and then the next one would be one two three four so and then one so one two three four and then one okay one two three four and then one okay so we gotta rotate that okay it starts over here, looks like. One, two, three, four, and then one. So, one, two, three, four, and one. Okay, so we can move to the center. And then the last one is two up here and two down here. Okay, so we gotta rotate that. I did it! Ooh, let's go. <gasps> we did it! We made it to Act 3! Yay! More than halfway through the game now. Almost done. It's almost fitting for some magnificence and knowledge to lay undisturbed, although I could swear that I hear screams from below the globe thing in the center. Probably the wind or my imagination. Still, it does seem that there is more to this room than meets the eye. Awesome, awesome. And we've got some something fun over here. I need something to thin to open this. A knife. Knife. No time to read. Jack's almost here. Emblem locked. It's going to kill Chris. Hmm. Pretty solid. It'll be quicker to find the key. I just saw an envelope knife somewhere.
I wonder if I could get up there. Oh. Key ring? I can't get a grip on it, not with my bare hands. Um. Hmm. What would help with this? Nothing we have. I don't really see how the globe is related to psychiatry, but other than that, it is beautiful. The letter N. Why? Probably for north. Uh, okay. It's really dusty in here. A collectible. Jack Smith. Jack. The more I learn about Jack, the less I can picture him as an evil person. But he did murder so many people in cold blood. Was it in cold blood? Was it even Jack? From what I found out, he was protective of Dahlia, tried to pass her the tapes. Am I starting to see him differently because of this and his relationship with Mother? I do wish she would have met someone strong and protective like him, but he was the killer. There were no doubts about that. But then again, does an investigation even mean anything if they still couldn't find the bodies? that might help with the door. I noticed something in Dahlia's file. It seems that her mother was the one who insisted on her internment. However, several times since she has attempted to remove her and all those attempts were blocked by Professor Smith. Miss Stonehouse mentioned something strange today, her other two daughters. Frankly, I'm surprised that someone in her condition is allowed custody. I'll mention it to Professor Smith. On one of the tapes, my mother mentioned that she had to send Dahlia away. Turns out she changed her mind later. Why? Did they try to take me and Heather away too? Why did they turn try to ruin our lives? It looks like a compass rose. It looks like a puzzle to me. Books with initials and nothing else. Apparently, these are memoirs of the past directors of the asylum. I doubt that I'd find anything of immediate use for me in there. However, the books actually feel strange. They are a little too heavy and seem to click once put back on the shelf. Okay, and we're missing one. There is still one memoir missing. Okay. Is that everything in here so far? Does that go back that way? It does. Okay. Um, I think I will end the video there. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment down below telling me what you think of the video. If you like the video, please click the like button. If you want more videos like this, click subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. Also, check out my Patreon. Link in the description. I also live stream here on YouTube. Join me every day except Wednesdays and Sundays at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for The Sims, Adventure Games, and more. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a magical day.